Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, and I have a tickle on my nose, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. And let me just start off by saying that I know this technically wasn't supposed to be my next video. I have two makeup looks using my top 13 drugstore must-haves that is in the works. It is coming and it will come this week. But this video is long overdue. I have not done a haul in months in months and I have been accumulating things since then that I'm like oh I have to show my girlfriends the stuff like I have to keep it in the packaging so I can show them the packaging so yeah even though like I said this technically isn't supposed to be my next video that I told you guys was coming it needs to happen because I have way too much stuff that I have been hoarding away and I need to just quickly talk about it share it with you guys and put it where it needs to go because it's been in that Sephora bag for weeks if not months now so let's get on into it so if you're interested to know what my recent purchases have been over the past few months then just keep watching okay so I don't even know where to start um, some of this stuff I have picked up from Sephora from Ulta um, some stuff from Amazon so it's just a bunch of random things that I picked up from random places. Let's go ahead and start with Sephora. So the very first thing um, that I picked up from Sephora is my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I finally bit the bullet. I was at Sephora. I saw it and I was like, you need that in your life. And once I used it, I immediately just flash back to why I it's such a must-have, so vital, and such an important thing to have in your makeup collection because it just does wonders for your makeup. It makes it just set so much more beautifully. It lasts and prolongs the wear of your makeup so much longer. And they also picked up this nail polish from Formula X and it is in the color Impeccable and it is just this very beautiful dusty rose pink color and it's what I'm wearing on my nails and I have been loving it. The formula of this nail polish is so worth, I think it's like $10, $11 or so. The formula is just perfection. It's so opaque when you put it on the nails. So if you're into like very nudie colors for your nails, I highly recommend that color because it's gorgeous. So with those points and also as like little freebie goodies that they kind of threw in my bag, I got this limited edition Bites lipstick and lip gloss. So this is the lip gloss. Again, like the color is just so gorgeous. And this is the lipstick. Like, look at that. So then you open that and can we just can you like oh, so so precious so yeah they're both in the color Cru Royale and they're just gorgeous gorgeous colors so we also got this it's from Algenist it has a cleanser a firming and lifting eye gel and then a firming and lifting cream but I have a very like simple skincare routine that works for me I've tried it a couple times haven't used it enough to say any thing that I've noticed that it's helped with but it didn't break me out so that's always a good thing <laughs> okay moving on to let's talk about Amazon stuff because I just got a few things from Amazon the very first thing was this long overdue product that I have heard the hype about for years and I just I don't know why I never jumped on the bandwagon silly me because this is so worth that hype it is the Mary luminizer I'm sure everybody and their mom and grandma and dog and canary know about this highlighter because it is it's life <laughs> it's what I'm wearing today on my cheekbones and everywhere else I love to just like bathe in highlighter lately it is everything it is life so good. And I also picked up this blush palette from e.l.f. I definitely love e.l.f. but it's definitely one of those makeup lines that's kind of like a hit or miss. But this is definitely a hit. Yeah, that one right there. It has very fine, fine speckles of gold in there, which you guys know I'm a sucker for stuff with gold in there. They're super easy to blend and to work onto the skin. It's what I'm wearing today with my Mary Luminizer, and I just love it. And then I also got these makeup brushes. I have been looking for really good quality makeup brushes but I'm not wanting to pay like a hundred plus dollars for makeup brushes I just can't justify it I'm not a professional makeup artist but you guys like these are unreal amazing for twelve dollars I have nothing negative to say about these brushes you guys unreal unreal for twelve dollars ridiculous <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and just touch on the rest of like the brushes 
sponges that I've gotten and then we'll kind of go back into makeup products. So I got this fan brush from It Brushes Game Changer. Let me show you in action so that way I can just kind of bathe myself in more <laughs> highlight because I don't have enough highlight apparently so I'm going to just show you guys how it works because I feel like it. That's why. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you this puppy in action. But there really is a huge difference with how it's applied, not just the product itself. The tool definitely makes a huge difference, which is something that's taken me years to realize. <laughs> this is another like oldie but a goodie, and it is the e.l.f. powder brush, and it is a flat top. This I love to use with foundations. Works really good, super affordable. Okay, so the next brush that I want to talk about is this one from Real Techniques, and it is the sculpting brush. I have tried a few brushes from Real Techniques, and they're all phenomenal. So when I saw this one, I really wanted to give it a go and see how it works. And I also picked up the Real Technique um, Miracle Complexion Sponge, and I used it, and I really love it. So I'll continue to use it and keep you guys updated. So speaking of sponges, I also picked up this one. It's $3.99 from Marshalls, and again, this is just like one of those things where I wanted to see what else was out there, because the Beauty Blender is like, it's amazing at what it does, it's perfection. But it's also 20 plus dollars, so I wanted to see if I could find something that gave the same results, not as expensive. <laughs> it's definitely the same idea, but it's not as cushiony as the Beauty Blender. It doesn't really form like around my nose or under my eyes as well as my Beauty Blender does. But nonetheless, it's you know it was $3.99. It works just fine. Not as good as the Beauty Blender, but if you're just now getting into makeup and you're wanting to experiment. It's definitely worth the $3.99. It still got the job done and I still liked it. I have been on this highlighter kick lately where I just have been wanting to experiment with different highlighters, mix them together, and I have just been like literally just bathing myself in highlighters lately. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It has been everywhere on Instagram, just all up in my face, reminding me that it just, I need it in my life, and it was definitely worth every single little teeny, peeny, weeny little penny that I paid for it. I love, love it. You guys, like this color is so, so stunning. It's just one of those colors that's like a glow from within type of color. It looks very pretty. I've seen it on so many different skin tones, and it's just one of those highlighters that just looks like a million gazillion dollars on everybody that I see it on. I am in love. Okay, so moving on. The next thing that I picked up is the NYX Wonder Stick Highlight and Contour Stick. And mine is in the color, oh, it's in the universal color. And I've really been liking this a lot lately. I wasn't too sure if I was going to get it down. I have been just trying to find it different ways and just experimenting with different products to try to contour, especially like my nose. And I've really been loving this so far. I'm still playing with it, and I think that as soon as I feel like I'm really confident with this product, I will show you guys how I use it. All right, next thing that I want to talk about is this eyeliner. And this was also a product that was mentioned from a beauty vlogger here on YouTube that I trust and I love and adore. And Tati, of course, Glam Life Guru. She's my go-to when I want to find new stuff and I want an honest opinion about it. And she had nothing but really good things to say about this Essence eyeliner pen. And it is the waterproof one. And she had mentioned that there was like the waterproof one and like the red regular one but the formulation and everything of the waterproof one was just so much better than the regular one so I picked it up and it's actually the eyeliner that I wore today and you guys I am just amazed it's probably like two or three dollars I can't remember exactly how much it was but my biggest thing is I have like this natural like crease in my eyelid and most eyeliners like by the end of the day it's smudged or it's not as like richly pigmented as it was at the beginning of the day and you guys this like still has my situation like the same as it was this morning so for two or three dollars yes 
Yes, 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 yes. Next thing that I want to talk about is this NYX High Voltage Lipstick, and it is in the color Flutter Kiss. And I loved the color off the bat. It's a very pretty, like, browny, mauvey nude color, which I've been really into lately. And I love it. The color, first of all, is obviously very beautiful. This smells really good. It's a very, like... This is a sweet, sweet smell. Very moisturizing on the lips, and it has become my new, like, purse lipstick. This next thing is also something that I have mentioned here recently, and it was in my 13 must-haves from the drugstore, and it is the Revlon Balms, and this one is a new matte one. And it's just like a reddish brownish it's definitely more red on camera but in real life it definitely looks more brown that whole line smells like peppermint feels amazing on the lips the color is gorgeous next lip thing is this one from Rimmel and it is in the color Tower of Mauve and again it's another brownie reddish mauvey perfect color for this time of year but this color is gorgeous again don't have anything bad to say about it so like I mentioned I've been on this like highlight Spree lately and I was in the essence aisle and I found this eyeshadow it is this 3d eyeshadow and you can't really shoot so yeah I don't know how good you can see but it is just it's beautiful it is a stunning color and the other day I actually put this down on my cheeks first and then I put gilded honey on top of it oh beautiful the next three things are repurchases all ones that I have talked about on my channel two of which I mentioned in my drugstore must-haves and that is the telescopic carbon black mascara from L'Oreal the Maybelline age rewind instant concealer or instant age rewind concealer and the Maybelline fit me concealer I had talked about these before they're awesome which is probably the reason why I repurchased them obviously <laughs> but yeah they were just repurchases. I always need those in my collection and I use them like on the daily. So I needed to get more of those. <laughs> the next thing is a foundation that I have been seeing lots of hype about. And it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It is the Demi Matte Finish Foundation. I'm in the color Sun Beige and I've used this a few times and I have to say I'm pretty, I'm pretty sold on it so far. I'm still gonna keep playing with it. I'll keep you guys updated. But so far, I really, I, I've been getting it. I've been getting what the hype is with it. I'm, yeah, I love it so far. <laughs> Next thing that I want to talk about is this rose hip skincare oil. Got this from Vitamin Shop, and this has been the only thing that I've used to moisturize my skin, and this has done wonders wonders when I tell you that my skin feels so moisturized it looks so healthy and it's gotten rid of a lot of like discoloration in my face this hands down is the reason why the last two things that I want to talk about are these two top coats this one's from Orly it's called won't chip and then I have this one it is the mega shine the Sally Hansen mega shine uh, top coat and this one was a little bit more pricey in between the two this one so much better so much better this sucker ah uh, within like a day and a half my nails were already chipping mm -mm -mm. this one is so much better and it's drugstore alrighty guys well that concludes this Amazon Sephora Ulta drugstore haul I really hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys want me to keep doing hauls for you I don't go shopping very often but let me know if you guys like to watch these and I will continue to hoard products as I get them and will continue to share them so I've got those two makeup tutorials coming this week I promise I will get those up to you guys and I'm doing like the Spice Girls peace sign I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you again so much for joining me on my channel. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.